hour. A Rochester man who lost nearly everything in a house fire on Garson Avenue this week found one thing in the rubble that's been described as sort of a lifeline. Yeah, this is quite the story. Jatyra Marsh joins us now in studio after hearing from a loved one. She tells us more about how a tight knit community is helping after the family radioed for help. Jatyra. Adam Teresa Mitchell Palermo is the man who suffered through a house fire, but he didn't feel comfortable going on camera. So his nephew, Jonathan Quiones, spoke to me on his behalf. On Tuesday, a home caught fire on Garson Avenue in Rochester, leaving four people displaced. I spoke with Jonathan Quiones, who is a relative of one of the residents living at the home. He says that night he recalls someone alerting him that his uncle Mitchell might be in danger. Jonathan, are you in there? It's just, everything that was in the attic is just totally destroyed. The only thing that made it was this radio. He says when it comes to his uncle Mitchell, radio is his whole life. If you see Mitch, he's walking around with the radio. He's talking about the radio. He's talking about an antenna. Um, it's amateur radio. So it's uh, a licensed, federally licensed amateur radio band that he operates on. And uh, it's, it's everything to him. New York State GMRS Alliance, which is a club for radio enthusiasts. Leaders of the group found out about the fire and have put together a GoFundMe to get Mitchell back on his feet. So far, they've reached roughly $1,100 with a goal of 10000 He's beside himself. He can't believe that there's a community uh, outreach for him. He just can't believe that that would happen. He's thankful, and he's just looking forward to getting back on the radio and expressing his thanks to everyone that's contributed, even in thought and prayer. He says his uncle is now in temporary housing through Red Cross and is in the process of finding something more permanent. For those looking to donate, we have more information with this article at rochesterfirst.com.